for me, the number one thing with buy-in is asking the kids what they want. What do you want? We can go any number of directions with this season. If you are all 100% in on you want to win a championship or you want to ma- you want to beat that team that's one more rung above the standings from last year or you want to party like it's 1999 and do none of those things, that's what's going to drive this. We always set goals. We have a, a team that they all want to beat. It's our neighbor school. But um, I'd like them to set small goals, a team goal, a season goal, you know, a personal goal. They have to put everything on paper. They have to all have journals. There's accountability with that to see if they've met their goal, whether it's to improve my serve. You know, I hit four double faults in that match, try to hit only two, but it's all in a, in a journal. Uh, we're similar too. Uh, we look at the postseason goals. Uh, I do. I look at their postseason goals, but then part of what I do, and right now I'm in the middle of this, we just ended our boys season three weeks ago, is then I work with everyone. Um, so, you know, I try to schedule times with kids that I can make sure that I'm working on some technical things, some, um, you know, skill based things that they're going to need for the next season. Um, if it's a need, you know, for them to rebuild their serve, I'm there for them. Um, and I think that creates buy-in because they know that I care. Um, and I think that caring is everything as a coach. And I think we all know that because if you don't care, there's not going to be buy-in. So when you show that you're available, when you show that you'll be there at a school function for them, um, like I, I've, I've gone to so many musicals um, that are, you know, they're not tennis events, but they're musicals or band events or whatever, just to support them and then also be available to them. I think that's how you can create some buy-in. Um, and that's what we're in the middle of right now is this postseason of, all right, what were your goals for the postseason, for this offseason, and then how can I help you achieve them? And I think that's how you create buy-in. I think if if you're a great coach, it's the coach that cares the most. Kids are really smart. If they see that you care, they'll give you more, more effort. Yeah, and there's a great quote. um, Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. You know, I don't know how many times I've had situations where a player is hurt. They're injured. Right. And it's it's not an injury that means they have to stop right now. We have to manage it. We have to take care of it. They're afraid to tell you that they're hurt because they don't know how you're going to respond. So there's a trust issue that gets dealt with at that point. And once once you successfully show that you're trustworthy, they trust you more. So like here's an example. I had a kid and he was down. 4-1 on the first set to a kid who's a really hot starter. But my kid is the number one player in the league. But he's down 4-1 and he looks listless. Everything's going wrong. And then he tells me, oh, hey, coach, I think I have a partial groin tear. And I could tell he did not want to tell me. So I said, hey, look, you know, you can pull the plug on this match at any time. I don't want you to hurt yourself worse, right? So don't run for any difficult shots. Just play what's within your control. And if you feel this getting any worse at all, stop. Once he knew he had permission to end his match at any time, then he loosened up and he was able to come back and win the match. And then... Because he told me that, and I was able to manage that with him, it get, it allowed us to help him get through the whole season without hurting himself worse. But if he keeps that a secret from me, hurts himself worse, and then you know, then everybody loses. I think we get lots of opportunities where kids will confide a little something in us. That's when we have to prove that we're trustworthy to them. A mistake a lot of coaches make is when they presume that just because of their position that they should be trusted.